Good morning. Today's Weather 101 is a little lesson that's going to utilize the weather and added some math. Yes, teachers, you're welcome. Happy to add a little extra math to the kids' day. So we can utilize thunder and lightning to figure out just how far away that storm is from your particular location. And the reason this is possible is because light and sound travel at different speeds. Lightning travels at the speed of light and thunder travels at the speed of sound. The speed of sound is the one that is slower. So by taking that kind of delayed difference between the two and dividing by a magic number, we can figure out just how far away that thunderstorm actually is from your location. So this is what you would need to do. Either have a stopwatch or utilize a stopwatch on an iPhone or use the old one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi method. Oh yes, it's tried and true. And whenever you see lightning, start the counting. Whenever you hear thunder, stop that counting. What we're going to do is then take that number and simply divide it by five. So you know I've got an example and we're gonna keep things easy and no decimal uh, places here. So the example is the difference that we heard between the sight of the lightning and the sound of the thunder was 20 seconds. So 20 divided by five would give us a distance of four miles away. And if a thunderstorm is only four miles away, well, you should be inside. Lightning is too close at that point, and it's only going to be, you know, depending on the speed of the storm, a few minutes until that actually arrives to your location. So it's a really simple math problem. Take the difference, divide it by five, and you can figure out just how far away you are from the thunderstorm.